Hello everyone, and welcome to Drake Makes. Found footage horror is really cool, and now with all the rage around analog horror, it's a good time to explore the genre. In previous experiments, I've used camera shake blueprints to achieve the handheld look, along with adding VHS overlays and editing to mess around with the analog found footage feeling. But today, I want to figure out how to use actual camera shake, real handheld camera work. So we're going to mess around with virtual cameras to make some spooky exploration footage. Let's make a portal. Fortunately, I have already made some horror maps. Making the back rooms is like a rite of passage into 3D art at this point, so we're doing our first tests here. We start on our desired device for virtual camera usage. In this case, I'm using an iPad. Download the app LiveLink VCam. This is where you're going to input your IP address to connect to Unreal Engine. If you don't know your IP, open up your console and type in ipconfig. Anyways, back to Unreal Engine. In your desired project, you gotta enable the virtual camera and live link plugins. After restarting your engine, under the Place Actors window, you'll have a virtual production tab. We're interested in the virtual cam to actor. Drag that guy into your scene and say a quick prayer that your engine doesn't crash as it loads it in. Now, with this actor in your scene, open up the VCAM component. Scroll down and enable the UI like so. At this point, you want to have your virtual camera app open on your second device. Input your IP and hit connect. At first, you're going to get an error message, but this is still a crucial step for getting this all to work. Open up the Live Link tab, which, if you don't have, go to Window, Live Link, and Dock It. Under this tab, you should see your device pop up here. If it's not there, give it a few seconds. It can sometimes delay. Click on the device, and we're almost there. Navigate back to the VCAM and select the device as a parent. Once this is done, tick Enable. Back on your device, if everything has been done correctly, when you hit Connect, you should now have a functioning virtual camera. I kind of freaked out when I got this working. It is really surreal having a physical window into your digital world like this. I came here to get some cool camera work and natural looking camera shake, but I wasn't prepared for how interesting this would be to work with. Walking around in real life and peering into your digital space is really fascinating. And while it evokes similar feelings to constructing a VR level, there's something about working with a virtual camera that makes your worlds feel much more tangible. On-screen controls allow you to move around and position yourself, allowing for really controlled camera work. Working this way makes everything look more cinematic. These movements would have been really hard to make feel natural with a blueprint camera shake or keyframed camera shake. Within the LiveLink app, you have a bunch of controls that are like using an actual camera. This includes the lens and the f-stop so you can zoom and control focus. To really add to the found footage look as the cherry on top, I threw on a VHS filter I found a few weeks ago, which results in this look. Just like that, instant found footage horror. I think this look works great, and everything is pretty easy to set up, so I loaded up my giant libraries level I made in a previous video, set up my virtual camera, and walked around again to get some more shots. Please enjoy this little showcase.
that's pretty much it for this week. In conclusion, virtual cameras are awesome, and will definitely be used when making cinematics going forward. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're still here at the end, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.